Hey everyone, welcome to my brand new channel. My name is Cruiser Chris, uh, just another vlogger. Uh, you're probably thinking, but you know, we'll see what happens. A little bit about myself I'm currently riding a Boulevard C50 by Suzuki, 2007 model. A few pictures are coming up now. Uh, some you'll notice with white wall tires. Uh, the white walls are the, uh, the new addition that I made once I bought the bike. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this channel yet. Try a few uh, a few different topics to talk about and see what people like, see what people don't like. Now, the first topic we'll talk about is um, my recording setup and where it's at. So to start with, uh, I'm using a Extreme X camera. The next thing to decide was where to mount that camera. A couple of options. Where I live, it's illegal to have a camera on the side of your helmet, so that wasn't an option. Um, so my first option was to put it on uh, down on the front forks next to the front wheel. That was okay, but I, I didn't really like how, how jittery it was, how bouncy it was, and you only get half the view. Um, so here's an example of that uh, playing now. Um, the second option was to uh, mount it on the handlebars above the headlight, which I think gave a better view. But uh, as I move up through the rev range, the, uh, the picture gets quite wavy uh, with the frequency coming through the bars. Um, and whilst I guess it's not too bad, I, I didn't quite like it. Yeah, it's also quite noisy up on the handlebars as well as down on the front forks, quite noisy with the wind. So, yeah, and then if I wanted to add a microphone later so I can talk as I'm writing, then that makes it a little difficult as well because I've got to have you know, cables running from my helmet to the bars or down to the forks, which is quite dangerous. So, um, yeah, not really my favourite option. The third option is I went and purchased just a cheap chest strap uh, off eBay. Put a picture of that up here now. Um, obviously, I mount the camera in this uh, waterproof casing, which attaches to the strap, and I wear it on my chest. And that gives... Um, a much better view as you can see from this footage here. Uh, of course it's going to mean a lot more editing, you know, taking out maybe, you know, the speedo, stuff like that, because I don't need the hassle of people saying, oh you were five kilometers over the limit there, or you know, that sort of thing, but um, once I get a little bit more familiar with my editing software, we'll learn to do all that. Um, but I think this is a better look, better view, a little bit more interesting and a lot less shaky. Um, anyway, that'll probably do for this first introductory video. Uh, let me know which view you like best down in the comments. And uh, hopefully there'll be many more to come.